Athens, Ohio. Second round action from the Midwest region. The number 12 seed, the Buffalo Bulls, taking on the fifth seed, the West Virginia Mountain with his fellow senior Brown. And the jump shot goes for Daxter Miles from the outside. That gets the scoring started. There's the pressure. Buffalo handles it. Driving to the rim. It's good. Justin Moss, and they'll call an offensive foul. Wave it off. West Virginia up 3-0. West Virginia up 5-0. Williams, the powerful sophomore out of Cincinnati. Pull-up jumper for four. Off the rim. Doesn't go. Rebound. 16 threes all season long. Don't take a three in transition. Staten called on the foul. They handle that pressure once again off the inbounds with Bearden. Fearless freshman. Going and getting it. And they foul. They foul a lot. They foul more than anybody else in the country. They are number one in the nation in fouls. Timeout taken. The fatigue and the physicality of their defense will wear you down. And they're guessing you're only going to get one shot, while they're going to get two or three shots on a possession. And there's the foul. Ankle sprain. Well, State in the preseason Big 12 player of the year. You lose that type of production offensively, and you're going to fall off. He's only been cleared for full practice this week. Open look. Williams, tough shot on the inside. Devin Williams. Strong hands, good post moves, and already with a couple of buckets. Spread the floor. Tough on that. Brown a three, whether the net's long or not. When you put it on all net for Brown, it's irrelevant. Now, Gary Brown's now hit two threes, and there's a guy that, when he gets heated up, when he gets microwaved, he can give you points in a hurry. The pressure, Evans. We are under 16 minutes to play. Full of feed, and it's out of Lost 71 to 52. West Virginia attacking and getting the bucket. 12-5 lead for the Mountaineers as Jawan Staten takes it all the way to the rim. Bearden swings it to the West Virginia bench. Out of bounds. Ball side to side. They want to get their offense moving. And one of the things when you lose a little bit early in a conference tournament, it does allow you to work on some things that you haven't had time to work on during conference play because you're trying to rest people's legs during conference play. Evans crossing over, and the scoop doesn't go. He said, yeah, I got tapes, plenty of tapes. He sat down and watched them. He wanted to learn how to play the right way. He also wanted to learn how to play the right way for Bob Huggins. Second 7-0 run of the game for West Virginia. I believe it allows them to break pressure, whereas other teams wouldn't. Knocked out of bounds. Won the national championship. They lost by a couple to Michigan, the Fab Five. Felt like if they made free throws, they would have played Duke, would have beat Duke. They're a very, very physical Whoa. team. That's how they feel. I'm, I'm not saying that's how I feel. I'm saying that's how they feel. I was in the arena that day. Toy guy. Tipped in. Off the miss. Nathan Adrian wow. busting through. And there's Bearden splitting defenders all the way. Knocked out of bounds. Double-digit lead for West Virginia. Get it in for Ford. Need to get it into the hands of a guard. He does with Skeet. Now they come converging on Skeet. High pass. Moss is yet to get involved. He got that early foul. Long jump shot. Skeet rimming. No. Dayton, Ohio native, extends the West Virginia lead. He's got six. 20-7 Mountaineers. Skeet. Breaks the pressure, but they've had big problems in the half court. Bearden cups the ball. Athletic play. It's good. On a quick little set to get Gary Brown a post up. One of the things West Virginia has been able to do is score inside against scores on the interior. Six foot nine, 240. Redshirt freshman Burley out of Columbus, Ohio, a local game. Marion Franklin High School. Once well as physical toughness. You've got an Ohio theme here, though, with a number of players and with Huggins as well. He's got Ohio roots. His brother Larry played at Ohio State. Huggins moved from West Virginia to Ohio, and his dad, Charlie, got a new job as a high school coach, a legendary coach in the state of Ohio. It would be very difficult to have a car with that rear view mirror, <laughs> well, but who uses it anymore with the backup camera? But here's the thing. You would get a ticket. That would get you a ticket. No rear view mirror. 27-15, West Virginia, number five seed, 
Kentucky in the Midwest in front. Dealing with the Sacramento Kings, got into a horrific car accident. Took him a long time to rehab. When he did, he tore his ACL. Just never the same. He just burnt out on playing basketball. Needed some time away. Came back as an assistant coach under Cincinnati. Five years at Akron. Three years at Walsh College. A tri-captain his senior year at West Virginia, wrapping up in 1977. Jump shot, doesn't go. Too strong for Moss. And make it. Jumper from the outside. It's a triple. Jay Sean Page provides offense off the bench for West Virginia. And a steal by Page. Two on two, up ahead. State in the lob. Maryland Valparaiso game, which is coming up here in Columbus. 34-26, Mountaineers. Eight points, three assists for Jawan Staten, first team all Big 12. What they need to do is, whoever the other guard is that doesn't catch the ball, needs to cut to the middle and get the ball on the move. Instead, they're waiting for the double team and throwing it backwards. Skeet gets it across, Bearden in attack mode, right to the hole, missed it. Tip in, doesn't, left hand, Jawan Staten, terrific move to the hoop. He's in double figures. West Virginia building the lead back up, it's 10. Bearden goes cross court. Ski to jumper. Short. Bounced out of bounds. That's the seventh West Virginia turnover. Buffalo trying to cut it to single digits. Bearden gets it ahead for Evans. Contact. Offensive. But put him in midcourt so when they throw it up to him, now he can be the ball handler. He can be the creator instead of Justin Moss, who was previously getting the basketball. They'll probably bring Moss into the backcourt. And then I think they need to attack early if they don't get an easy shot and then attack late in the shot clock because West Virginia gets a little bored. They want to cause a turnover, and they will give you some easy shots if you hold it for 30 seconds or so. Buffalo did not shoot it well in that first half. You've got to keep him out of the paint. Third foul against Justin Moss, 39-33, West Virginia. Get it in for Ford, who gets it ahead for Bearden. Bearden bumped. No call. Out of bounds. Now Bobby Hurley irate. Inside, Williams perfectly executed as Williams uses the window and extends the West Virginia lead. 12 points for Williams. And a timeout. West Virginia was looking for a five-second. Obviously, Bobby Hurley, a legend at St. Anthony's where his dad was the coach. His brother is the head coach at Rhode Island. Tailing the pressure. They get it across for the jump shot. Evans! Miles to the hoop. And he gets the roll. 43-36, West Virginia. They move it ahead for Skeet. Well, they have found a matchup they like. Daxter Miles Jr. Trigger in for Ford. Wigginton will try to get it across. The lead is back up to 10 for the Mountaineers. Game. Jump shot goes. Javon Carter on target. He has been so good the last month of the season. Carter comes in, averaging eight and a half points per game. Regan on. Ten point lead for West Virginia. And a foul called off the trigger. Going downhill towards the basket. That's death defensively. He's just too good. Staten now with 12 points, six assists. Phillip called on the foul. Wigginton somehow holds on to it. Scoop to the hoop. It goes down. Miles. Williams, no. Tip in goes. There's the length once again of Tariq Phillip. And the lead is 11 for West Virginia. Got another foul call that's going to be team foul number seven. And I said, well, yeah, but you know, like, what, can you come on a visit? He's like, do you want to play defense? Do you want to play with great players? Do you want to compete every day in practice? Do you want to come? Short and to the point. I politely declined. Cincinnati won seven. That was a tremendous, I think he just flicked the ball as Carter was going in to lay it in. Buffalo gets it into Bearden. West Virginia backs off here. 55-46 Mountaineers. High screen for Moss. It's stolen away. Devin Williams on the move. The lob. Off.
back on another. 64-62 Mountaineers. Just over two minutes to play. Full court pressure. Timeout Buffalo. They here in the second half. Jaron Skeet is the trigger man for the Bulls. Get it in for Bearden. So the freshman will handle it against the pressure. Trying to get around Adrian. And that's a jumper. Phillip. Oh! He knocks it down! Tariq Phillip with a three! Five point West Virginia lead. Evans can't answer. Rebound. Phillip goes back down by Staten. Seven seconds left. West Virginia dribbles out the clock. The Mountaineers are moving on. West Virginia avoids the upset. 68 to 62 over Buffalo as Huggins and Hurley share a moment at midcourt. Good fight from the Buffalo Bulls in their first NCAA tournament, but not enough against West Virginia. The depth of West Virginia